Okay, let's take a look at how we can get parent access codes for Schoology for Open House. So what you'll want to do is log into Schoology and access one of your courses. Once you're in your course, you'll want to click on Members on the left-hand side. Your list of students in your course should pop up. On the right-hand side, you should see an access code. You don't want to give the parents this access code because that will make them students in the class. Instead, you want to give them the parent access code that is unique to them and their student. That will allow them to see any of the student's assignments, the tests and quiz grades, but only for their student. So to do that, you can click Parent Access Codes, and you'll see a window that says Download Parent Access Codes. This is going to give you an Excel file. So you can click Download, and then you can open up your Excel file. And notice it will have a unique access code for each student. Now some of this stuff is not that important, like they don't necessarily need this unique ID, so you could probably delete that. Um, building ID, grad year, you don't really need that stuff, so if you want to simplify things, you can delete those columns. Then what I would do is I would make that text kind of big and adjust my columns. The reason I made that bigger is so that I could print that out and cut it into strips to hand out at parent night. It's kind of hard for you to have to stand there with one sheet of paper and read off a parent code for every parent um, individually to them. So what this would let you do is print out the access code and give it to the parent should they come. So to print that out, you would select your sheet, choose File Print. In your sheet, you want to make sure that you fit it uh, to one page wide by as many pages tall as you need. So that's going to give me three pages. And then I like to go under page setup and go to the sheet and check off grid lines. That's going to help me later so that I can see those lines. It'll make it easier to cut those into strips. So they will need just the student last and first name and then the parent access code and then you can go ahead and hit print and cut those into strips for your parents. Now on the parent side, what they will need to do is they will need to create an account. So they would do sign up and notice that there's a sign up for Schoology as a parent. They would enter the parent access code and hit continue and then that would take them to the course for their student. So here they would enter the parent access code, hit continue, and then they would fill out the information to sign up for Schoology. So they would create their own username and put in their own email address and then enter their own password and then register with the site. So now as a parent, what I would see once I've created my account is I would see my student's activity so I can see everything that they've submitted. I can see um, posts by the teacher. I can see the calendar for the course. I can see grades that have been given on any assessments within Schoology. And I can click on my student's name and browse Schoology um, to see my, my child's account. I can also add a child to an existing parent account. So say I have a freshman and a sophomore or a freshman and a senior. I can add a child by just entering that child's code. And one of the really cool things is that my, as a parent, I don't have to enter a separate code for each of my child's courses. Once that child has an account, the, the parent access code for that student is the same for all of their courses. So I can see by clicking on Jane all of the courses that she's enrolled in. So Jane is enrolled in two courses right now. So I don't have to have a separate parent access code. So once a parent creates an account with an access code for that student, uh, they don't have to join multiple courses. It's all the students' courses should sign up with that account. Um, and again, they can add a child really easily by just clicking Add Child and adding that child's code. So it's pretty easy for parents. Um, I will provide a link in the blog to uh, some more instructions specifically for parents, but Schoology is pretty user-friendly. I think that most of them should not have any trouble. And you can always share this video with them as well. Thanks so much. Happy Tech Tuesday.